Hi everybody, EV here. Welcome to today's video. This video has been requested by so many people. Okay, so how do I get um, my 720p images looking so beautiful? Well, you first of all got to match the power of your hardware to its capability. So if you've got better than a quad core Ryzen, better than a GTX 1050 Ti, you should be good to go for 1080p. I am on 720p, however, this secret setup that I'm going to show you right now applies to all resolutions as long as your hardware is powerful enough to run it. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's create a brand new profile. I'm going to make this a real quick cheapy profile now if you want the best results um, bar none then only use SCS simple as that I'm not going to do that I'm going to be a chab and I'm going to use a mod truck now mods of any sort can cause your game to degrade both in terms of frame rate and graphical quality and that kind of will always remain super true. So, let's have a look how Ebsy does it. Uh, I'm going to make this one a real simple uh, cheapskate profile. Um, the other thing is it's very important to have your mod load order correct. Uh, and I'll post a shortcut link underneath this video to the correct mod load order and if you stick by and large to that order you should always have really really good results so this is just going to be a small little build because I think you're all more interested in seeing how I um, set up for the pictorial quality so that's what we're going to focus on. So just bear with me a second. Uh, I'm really not that bothered about sound fixes, but we can stick it in. Why the hell not? Now this is on the latest 147, but this just applies period. Okay. So uh, no matter what you're doing, uh, this should always afford you the best possible results. Even though you might think, hmm, what are you doing that for? Trust me years and years of playing and tweaking with this game has taught me a lot we're going to go for the mac titan of course providing it doesn't wreck the frame rate so we'll call it what it is eb uh, i don't know if we can call it eb's titan trucking there you go and let's set this bad boy up so we've only got a few mods i always play with keyboard you can use uh, controller you can use steering wheel pedals whatever you want that has no impact on the quality of the image so we're going to start off in Fresno we don't want to walk through tutorial okay so here we go then the beautiful Fresno so before we do anything else the next thing that we need to do is set the game up to look and record beautiful. So go to your options, <clears throat> go to graphics. Okay, so you can see this is on 1920 by 1080. Well, that's no good for me because my monitor resolution is 1366 by 768. Always leave the refresh rate on default and always have vertical sync enabled. Scaling, I always go 200%. No need to go any higher. 200% is the sweet spot. Anti-aliasing, I have on Ultra. Screen space, ambient op oculation, we disable that. Not needed. Uh, so I have 50% on the reflection scaling. Reflection scaling on low. Everything else can be on high or ultra, that's fine. However, and strippy, get rid. You really don't need it. Honestly, trust me, you don't need it. Normal maps, traffic headlights, secondary vehicle. 
Light visibility ranges on high and pedestrians. Left click apply. Yes, please. We want to keep those settings. Okay, next I'm going to go to audio and for no other reason but just to activate the, um, the sat nav. Gameplay options. Again, this is very much a personal choice as to what you want to use. Because I use a keyboard, I always zero these because these just hammer your frame rate and do very little, to be honest. They're just a pain in the arse. Time zones, always full info. Simple automatic, steering auto center off. I have the steering uh, on a keyboard set to 700 degrees. Uh, half the fun is trying to get it though. There we go, 700 degrees. Talk I always have on full. These sliders you can leave all on full if it suits. Put a tick in these two. This I always change to one and zero. Everything else disabled. And then when it comes to cabin physics, I usually have these down around here. Uh, 148 I'll be able to give you an exact percentage figure. But again, you might want to toy around with it to change it to suit you um, so my keys are already set up in terms of keyboard steering I always have the bottom slider full up and the top slider uh, about what a third of the way on the sensitivity and that should be it so let's go and take the Mac and let's take it for a drive uh, and let's see what it looks like and see more importantly how it affects the frame rate Now there's one other really important thing you need to do uh, when it's your truck and that is set your truck up like this. Now this is really important because if you don't set this up correct and straighten everything it's going to smack your frame rate, trust me. So you've got to make sure that your truck is set up proper's. There you go. Uh, so we've got, uh, we don't need that sat nav on, we've got a sat nav. So here's the mod truck, the Mac Titan, that we're going to use. Let's fire up, sounds a bit naff, doesn't she? So we've got a 12 minute drive. Hopefully, if we've done this right, it should run silky smooth. Now, again, for my hardware, what I'm going to show you now is my personal setting choices you might want to tweak them and mess around with them so you need to make sure your console is active if you don't know how to do that there's a billion videos on how to activate your console first command is g underscore bloom zero because personally i hate bloom let's get rid of it next is r underscore mirror underscore view underscore distance the quotes are required 600 and that stops trees just disappearing in your mirrors, which can be so annoying. The next thing I'm going to set is traffic. These next two have to match. So I've got it on 1.5. Let's change that and up it to 2. You have to be careful with this because this will really smack your CPU. So if, like me, you've got a shit CPU, do not put this above 2 because it will smash it seriously it will thrash your cpu and that will result in really bad frame rates so g underscore traffic i'm going to set to two g lod factor traffic also set to two because they're a matched pair and that's it we're done we should be good to go so let's go ahead and get this delivered we should have really nice frame rate now and of course we should also have plenty of traffic to bash into um now the other thing is, uh, if you want to get uh, the most bang for your buck out of your system, then do not do what I've done. Do not add a mod for real companies and trailers and everything else, and do not add a graphics mod. Right. That simple. Just use the SCS ones and you'll find that you'll get really nice frame rates and amazing quality pictures. However... <clears throat> I'm being a bit of a chab. Ah, what the hell. Uh, so I thought we'd fill the boots. Now notice also, notice also I haven't 
um, put any engine mods into this. We're just going to use the engines that are supplied with the mod truck. That again is very important. Always try and use as few mods as humanly possible. You only really need the I can't live without that mod mod installed, so to speak. The more mods you put in, the more red errors you're going to have in your log. Uh, and the... Oh, really? Uh, and the more that your image on the screen will degrade. Really, you're going to go over on red. Wow. Wow, I'm just going to go right over there on red. Okay. And if we go external, your image should always look crisp, clean and beautiful. Simple as that. Now, <clears throat> with this PC, I could do 1080p. Just. However, it's going to smack the frame rate and it's going to seriously remove my ability to add and run mods. Whereas at the computer screen's native resolution of 1366 by 768 I get the absolute best performance. Don't forget I've only got a GDX 1050 Ti with 4 gigabytes of RAM in this PC. Were I to seriously upgrade the card maybe to an RTX 3060 Ti, then we could quite comfortably install a 1080p monitor 60 frames a second. Beautiful, we're done. But I think the overriding comment is, and I've said this a million times, always be prepared to lower your expectations. Now, here's the final kick in the chuddies. What you're seeing on your gaming screen is not what you'll see on a recorded video screen. If you're doing the recorded video right, it will look a lot, lot better on your video than it will do on your screen. Don't ask me why, I don't know why. Just the way it is. It seems like the video seems to render it how you would expect it to look and it doesn't always unfortunately but hey ho it's the way it is isn't it as I say okay so there's our first delivery done I'm not bothered about an XP bonus we'll just take the dollar cheers love beautiful let's go and there we go so uh, last but not least there is also uh, a series of commands um, that you can put in to launch the game at startup, which are mainly um, needed for map combos. So if, like me, you're not using a map combo, you're just using a base SCS map, eh, it's debatable whether it's required. However, you can always pop it in there and try it to see if it does improve the smoothness and the quality of the game. It basically just dumps everything from the amount of RAM that's available, blah blah blah. Again, another secret with this game, the more RAM you've got, the the better experience you're going to have. It's that simple. There's no getting away from it. Now, uh, one last thing you can do is a setting in the .config uh, file um, to increase the buffer from the standard 10 to 50. And that again will improve your graphical display. I'll leave those commands underneath this video uh, and I seriously hope this helps you um, get your game looking feeling and running how you want it now now look if it doesn't then leave whatever comments you want underneath the video and I'll do my best to help you but it really is that simple to set the game up and absolutely smash it but but lower your expectations because it's no good trying to do it in 1080p, 2K or 4K. Oh, my game's just crashed uh, when your computer isn't capable of handling it. And this is the problem with mods and mod trucks. You can have terrible conflicts, instant crashes, and you won't know why. But hopefully 
that's given you uh, a little bit of an overview as to how to set it up graphically. It doesn't matter whether you're using NVIDIA or whether you're using AMD. It really should not matter a tat's tot. Um, I think you'll find AMD is a little bit more punchier than NVIDIA on your screen. Uh, but on the recorded video, it's pretty much horses for courses. There's nothing between them, to be honest. So there you go, everybody. I hope that's helped you. Um, if you've got any further questions, post them under the video. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked English Bob video.